What is cancer and how does it start? Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Komaroff. Every one of us is made up of cells, trillions of them. Cancer begins when one cell starts to grow uncontrollably. Cells grow by dividing. One cell divides into two cells, two cells become four cells, and so on. Healthy cells divide only when they need to. Cells must divide for a baby to grow in the mother's womb and then after birth to grow into an adult. Even after we become an adult, cells must divide to replace old or damaged cells. Normal cells divide in a controlled way, just when they need to. Cancerous cells, on the other hand, divide uncontrollably. Here a cancerous cell, colored green, starts to divide and it keeps dividing. The rapidly dividing cells push aside the healthy cells around them. They form a small cancer that at first is too small to see and then begins to grow beyond the organ where it started. What makes a cell turn cancerous and divide uncontrollably? Cells divide when their genes tell them to. But if a gene has a mutation, it can tell a cell to divide when there's no reason for it to divide. Most cancers start because of mutations in several different genes. When a cancer starts, the body's immune system will often recognize the cancer cells as abnormal and attack them. This may kill some cancer cells, but it can't get rid of all of them. To have the energy to keep growing, the cancer needs a blood supply. To get that supply, the cancer sends out chemical signals that draw blood vessels to it. Unfortunately, these vessels allow cancer cells to spread to other parts of the body. Some early cancers stop growing and never spread. These are called benign tumors. However, many cancers invade tissue around them and spread to other parts of the body. These are malignant cancers. To learn more, see the video called How Cancer Spreads. From Harvard, I wish you good health.